At night, we rode up to the old railroad tracks on the west side of town, turned the headlights off, and waited for the dead to appear. My cousin Nikki and I had seen the phantom lights of the old passenger trains, maybe, just once when we were kids and sneaking out. But it was, and I believed this even at twelve, likely a trick of the light, our eyes bleary and tired. And still, whenever we went cruising, this was the place we ended up, staring into the dark, wishing to be scared. Annie, why do we come out here? Nikki said, her blonde curls making a funny halo around her wide, sharp-boned face. Something besides doing donuts in the Walmart parking lot? I squinted my eyes, but the only speck of light was from a cell tower past the interstate, miles ahead and outside of town. You see anything? I ran my fingers lightly up her arm like a spider, and she swatted me. God, we're so lame, she said, and tugged on the tight-fitting halter top she'd decided to wear. Without checking the mirror, I knew I'd already smudged my new liquid eyeliner. We're so lame, this was your idea, I said, and turned the ignition. We're all dressed, might as well get a drink somewhere. Where? Mixers. Headlights on, a cloud of dust swirled in the beams. A tremor of fear. Was something circling our car in the dark? But branches swayed in the trees, and I realized it was just the wind picking up. We bounced in our seats as I drove over the rickety tracks. And just you and me sit on bar stools with all the sad folk? Come on, you know you can't go in there before midnight. Besides, I'm starving. Let's go by the cafe for a bit. That'll give my sources time. Gotta be something happening. It's Thursday, practically the weekend, Nikki said, and checked her phone again, sent a few texts, and I drove down the empty farm-to-market road, elbow out the open window. The night air was just cool enough to tickle my skin. The wind was all it was, just coming a storm. I like mixers. They have a band, I said. I knew it was lame, but old dives like those had no pretenses of being anything but dives. I was burned on college bars and frat boys. Sure, the band is usually the Donaldson kid, who may or may not be out on parole. Hey, you sure you want to eat at the cafe? There's usually snacks at the bar. It's nine. Everywhere else is closed. And no... I don't want to eat stale popcorn everyone's dug their dirty paws in. Fair enough, I said, and turned right toward town.